So last week we put these beautiful cross racks on our Mitsubishi Outlander. And you can see we've had them up there for a week now. Uh, road noise hasn't been a consideration, like everything's been really good. So we went ahead and bought another attachment for it. Having the crossbars is great, but it doesn't do everything that you need it to do. You need to be able to store stuff up on top. And with just the crossbars, you can't do that. There's attachments you can add to it for bicycles and things like that. But we got something a little bit different. We went on the Facebook marketplace and we bought this Tiger roof rack used. And today we are going to install this on top of the crossbars. One of the great things about buying it used is that we didn't have to worry about putting the whole thing together, but you do need to check to make sure that all the hardware is tight from the last person who used it. So Raymart's going to help me put this roof rack on. It's kind of windy today. <sighs> And we're both kind of short. I think we might need to uh, get that little ladder. We're going to wash the whole car eventually. It looks like we need to space these racks out a little bit. See how it's hitting on the, on the crossbars here. I think we need to move the back one backwards. What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? You don't see how it's hitting there? No. Is yours hitting over there? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. So it's not going to sit flat if it's hitting on there. Uh -huh. So we need to loosen this back one and move the whole bar back. That means we're going to have to take it down again. Push it towards me. Here we go. We need that little plastic key that unlocks the, the crossbars. Thank you. I'm going to throw it to you, okay? Ready? Yeah. What kind of throw was that? Trying to fake me out, that's what. Alright, let's lift it up into place again. Let's see, this goes forward. <sighs> huh? Yeah. She probably ate already. <sighs> There we go. Look at that. That looks much better, doesn't it? Be even better if we weren't on this hill. Okay, so we got hardware that we'll put on, and that's the next piece. All right, so we've got all of the clamps for the roof rack here. One of the things about buying stuff used is that you often end up with lots of extra hardware. The instructions don't call for this hardware. It only calls for this hardware. However, those are super long, so I could understand why they would want to utilize a shorter bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit one piece up there, and then this is the stack. And then we will check and see which hardware works best to not hit the roof. But it looks like we have plenty of room, so maybe the long hardware is fine. Okay. I also want to make sure that everything's centered. As you can see right now, it is more to the left side of the car than the right side. So we'll straighten that out. We'll line it up with that piece right in the middle with the antenna. Make sure that everything's nice and straight. All right, we've got the first piece in place and everything looks nice and squared. It's tightened up right here. I haven't put any of the other ones on yet. I just wanted to make sure that everything was in a good spot. That looks pretty well centered. 
and I wanted to check the trunk to make sure that it lifts the gate with no problem. Plenty of clearance, so that should be fine. All right, I want to go over this stack so you can see how these go on. This plastic piece goes underneath and sits on top of the crossbar. I got too much stuff in my hands. It is windy. Lift that up and slide it right across like this. Now I was kind of concerned about this piece because it's just got these two little holes that fit right there. There, there's a good look. So those two plastic nubbins hold on that metal piece. And that was a concern to me because it doesn't seem like it would be much. They just kind of clip in. But I realized that those don't actually hold it. They're just guide pins for the bolts. And the bolts will be what holds everything together, which makes sense. There's one bolt. That one's kind of hard to reach. There's the other bolt. And then this piece just goes across the bottom. And this is a specialty tool. It's not a typical Allen. It's got a little hole in it so that somebody can't steal your roof rack. They got to have the specialty tool for it. I mean, lockpick lawyer could probably do it, but somebody just grabbing an Allen wrench out of their toolbox is not going to be able to loosen these bolts. At least that's the hope. I also hope that I can get this Allen wrench underneath there. Oh, you can see how dirty it is up under there. That's nice. There we go. The other thing that I was concerned about was with these Urkel crossbars. They're really thin here and thicker on this side. It's thick on the front and thin on the back like an airplane wing, which I was worried about these fitting properly since they're not square across, but it seems to work all right. So everything is going together just fine. Just have to make sure that the pressure is even across the front and back. All right, that's just half of it, but it's tight already. I'm gonna make it this time. Remark. I thought you tightened this. Look how loose this is. I need those tools. I need the key and the tool. The forward one's tight, the back one's not. That's why you got to give it the shake check. This one? Oh, guys, it's magic. Next time you, um... No, you don't need to tighten that one. That one's tight. Next time you do this, you're gonna let me know yourself. You're gonna shake it. Let's shake it before you. See, there's this whole gap up in there. I think that's tight enough. All right, that seems solid now, huh? Whole car's shaking. That's good. All right, that's the roof rack on. I think it looks pretty nice. And we're ready for an adventure.